Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Um, yeah, guess who's back? Today, well, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. Today, we're playing Astroneer. Basically, if you never played this game or heard of it, it's basically you as an astronaut are going to a planet and you're building stuff, you know? Uh, this is the first episode. So, you know, I'm hoping that I turn this into a series, hopefully, don't know, but apart from that, let's get straight into the video. Alrighty guys, we are landing. Alright, we touched down, now all we have to do is exit. And here is our shelter. Alrighty. Welcome to Astroneer. This whole episode is mostly gonna be me explaining everything. I've already played this game already, so I already know the gist of it. So, you know. Uh, so, yeah. Hold up, let me. Uh... Wait, there we go. Alright. Alright, guys. Let's get straight into the video. Alright, so basically, we're an astronaut on a foreign planet. This is our shelter. This provides us oxygen and power. So, and without oxygen, let me show you. We are right here. You can see that our blue bar, which is our oxygen, is slowly going down once it starts hitting zero you start dying so we don't want that to happen and all you have to do is if you see this blue line your oxygen goes back up so this is very helpful as for this this is four missions you see we only have one mission and we already completed one so we'll get so once we complete missions we will get some materials that I don't know what type of materials, but also this is an oxygenator. This provides oxygen, as that's what the name means. So, uh, yeah. And this is a small printer, as the name suggests. It's a printer. It makes stuff. You can see, you can make stuff, a lot of stuff, but we don't have a lot of that stuff. So, apart from that, all we have to do is hook this is a cable plug you plug it in and it gives us power and we completed yet another mission so we'll complete that and we have tethers so what these do is basically once you put them down um uh, let me show you once you put them down it's not working hold on once you put them down they they put down and then the oxygen goes through them so instead of running away and then oh no you're losing oxygen just put one of these bad boy down and your the oxygen will go through it and you can move around so you know there's that and I, I do want to go over to there soon so but first we need to get our base up and running Okay, and then now we have a small canister. What this does is whenever whenever you dig into the ground, this fills up with soil. Also, this will also, uh, this will, I'm just plug this up. This is our mining tool in my stuff. So, for instance, this is resin. Yes, you can see it's resin, and all you have to do is um, mine it. With this, and then you see something right there. All you have to do is mine some, and then this one aside. Uh, yep. Alright, there we go. And then you get resin, a natural resource, which you can use in the printer to make stuff. For instance, I can make a medium platform which can be used to place stuff. As you can see, it is printing right now. All I have to do is unpack it, and boom, we have a platform now. 
but we need more of those and there's different materials on this planet there are multiple planets and you can go into space hopefully in a future video I can go to a different planet so and again I've already played this game before so I know what to do so yeah so we'll put this stuff down as you can see our canister is full so we have that and yeah oh, okay yeah 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 over here we have a new different uh um uh, natural resource this bubbly looking stuff is compound this you need it for a lot of things same with resin and there's a lot of it here so obviously i'm gonna try to get as much as i can so I think one more should be good Alright, there we go. Alright, we got a ton of resin. Let's head back to base and let's make some stuff. Um, Alrighty. Let's make a medium printer. There we go. This medium printer will let us build bigger stuff. So, yeah. I need to wait for it to finish. Um, play that. Boom, there we go. Now we can make bigger stuff. Actually, I'm going to move this over here. Plug that into there. And now we can make we can make a large printer, research chamber, uh, a large platform. But uh, let's get to let's collect some of these. Uh, so what this so we got some award some um, platforms so we can use this to make stuff or hold it stuff for that matter we don't really need these for now oh shoot hold on uh, so yeah hopefully in the future I can make more videos you know but at the current pace that I'm going with my channel, it's probably not gonna happen. But you know. But yeah, now that we have now we have a bigger this is a large platform B, not the A. There's multiple versions of platforms, but you know. Oh and look at this, we have storage which can be used to as the name suggests store stuff. So for instance, we're gonna store these resin in here. If I can, I can. Uh, all right. Now for this, uh, and this right here, we have bytes right here. Bytes are basically research points. You, you research stuff and you get bytes for that. And then with those bytes, you can research multiple stuff that you can make with your printers. So you know, uh, we we should get a tractor. All right, all right, guys. For this video, I'm hoping on getting a tractor. For uh, that's my plan for now. Oh, I need resin. Hold on. I'm gonna make a research chamber. What a research chamber basically does is, it as the name suggests, also it researches stuff. So let me see if I can find. Wait, hold up. There's the crash space station or space shuttle for that matter. Uh, what does it have? Research sample. Oh, yeah, here. If we scan this, it gives us bytes, which can be used to, again, like everything else. Holy smokes, that is bright. Really bright. Uh, store all my stuff. But, yeah when you're printing it does use power so we need to be careful with how much power we use because if we use a lot of power um it won't make stuff it'll be, go very slow all right uh let's go see what this has over here for us and again like i said in the beginning 
this is mostly gonna be a video to explain everything for the people that don't know how to play this game or never heard of it uh, I was gonna look for an example for oh yeah we also have uh, more materials oh I'll I'll check this out later but of more materials we have clay which if we refined it can make ceramic so there's that uh, hold on I'm gonna save that for later I'll check that out later all right time to go back to base and and we also have a built-in um, uh, a built-in oh it's finished hold on, let me just put this down we also have a built-in um, printer that's what I was trying to say that um, that can uh, build stuff on the go hold up let me alright what, what do we get uh, beacons not useful but eh. oh now we got a ton of missions to complete uh, first off, let, let's go to that, um, to the, to this place over here. I have seen this in my other games, so I know, oh shoot, it's not connected. Okay, there we go. Also, these can't just go out all forever. At a certain distance, they won't connect. So I gotta make sure they do connect. Because if not, uh, I'm screwed, basically. So I gotta make sure. Uh, does this have anything interesting? Doesn't look like it. Already, this place could be big. We could get a lot of stuff from here. Oh, look at that! We got some new material. We got ceramic, and we got malasite. So, all right, we'll take that. This is all right. Here we go. We have a solar, a uh, small solar. This basically turns like as the description says, converts sunlight into power. This is great when uh, you need to like store stuff or when you need power. Uh, what's in here? Is there anything? In here? Uh, oh shoot, nothing of use. All right. Oh, and here we go. This is what I was gonna look for. This is a research uh, item, which. Uh, so you saw that research chamber if you remember that I'm I that I made this goes into the research chamber and the research chamber it researches it which turns into bytes so this just gives us bytes so all we have to do is move it across into our base all we have to do is put it in and then we gotta go into this little uh, tablet here press start it and now it researches and then it has a certain time to complete it and over here it tells us how much how many bytes it's gonna give us at the end or how many total bytes it is so yeah now let's go back over here and let's uh, look for anything else that is useful like it all right, there is this up here. What is this? Oh, it's debris. All right, doesn't matter. All right, I'm a. All right, here we go. All right, I'm basically. Oh shoot. I'm basically building a a ramp to go up here. All right. Oh, perfect. We got a medium wind turbine, which turns wind into power. Uh, it produces five, so I'll put that on the ground. This is just debris, so. But this is what I was looking for a gravity globe. This is basically. Wait, hold on. Uh, this is basically a vehicle, which I will show you. Boom, there we go. We got a we got a uh, a vehicle now. Although the downside of this is it cannot hold anything compared to other vehicles, but it doesn't really matter, you know. We just we really just needed it for um 
to move around the planet so grab this gravity globe and let's head back to this and I should mention this if y'all are enjoying this video and want to see more of oh shoot I almost went into the hole uh, if you want to see more of Astroneer, uh, Astroneer you should definitely like because that tells me that you like this video and I should definitely be making more which tells me that y'all like it and that I should make it into a series if I can so yeah hit that like button need them I need motivation to keep on going uh, I what should we do now we could look for materials we could actually what what can we print what do we need all right uh what, what do we have what do we have we don't have a lot of stuff all right let's see a medium printer uh let's see do we need that i do want to make a tractor though so for y'all i'm gonna make a tractor I'm gonna build my my hole over here. Alright, there we go. Alrighty. Let's head into a hopefully we can find a cave. If we can find the cave, we can get a lot of materials. So right now I'm just digging down so until I find a cave if you can find a cave oh and we found one how convenient uh, oh yeah these snowman uh, all right we found a cave and I'm just making it taller so, I can actually see. so all right my plan is for this video is to try to get some aluminum so I can make a tractor but first I need to be prepared for that so I need some compounds so I can make some tethers so I don't die because of a lack of oxygen so let's do that uh, alright right, but Let's go into the cave now. I'll see y'all at inside. A, um, a ramp going down. Now we're in a cave. Alrighty, there's gonna be a lot of explaining to do here. Oh wait, uh, I just realized I don't have any tethers going down here. I'm kind of dumb. Uh, yeah, I need to. I'll be back in a little bit after oh yeah all right after oh, I found it all right let me see what I was gonna say uh I finally tethered it up so we don't have to worry about that all right so this right here this is dangerous it's a hazard as it says it's pop coral uh basically what it does is if I touch it it's gonna kill me so no bueno i don't want that's a prime example of now what to do because uh great all right i'm gonna uh, go get my stuff real quick i'll be back in the ready after grabbing my oh shoot after grabbing my dead body uh stuff let's Alrighty, we just we can actually make the tractor this video What this is right here? This is laterite which if I refine it will make aluminum Which I need for my the tractor that I'm gonna make So y'all will actually see me use a tractor uh, I think that's enough for now. So, uh, but what I do need is to refine it. What is this? Oh, zinc. Oh, that's actually. 
I actually do need sink. I actually do need sink. Hold on, I'm a. Hold on, I need to switch these out. I actually do need zinc. Cause for zinc I need it for batteries. And the only the only way to make batteries is through refining it with sp spalerite. Holy smokes, there's a lot of materials around here. This is pretty big. This is definitely good for future videos. And anything research sample, alright. Right now I'm just lining up uh, tethering up this whole cave so anywhere I go I don't need to and plus I'm just wasting them just so I can have room for extra materials. Need it to make batteries for my tractor. Cause you don't this isn't uh you don't need fuel for for um for tractors or anything. You don't need gas. All you need is batteries because everything's electric in here so uh, I gotta get some of this stuff it does look like obsidian it does look like obsidian I would say that it, 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 it looks like obsidian you know like if you ever seen real life obsidian is there any more No. Oh wait, no. There's more over here. Oh, uh, oh, and on the roof. Holy. Holy mole. Holy mole. That's a lot of zinc. Let me get that. So, hopefully we can make it this episode. But before I do that, I do need to research one thing to make it. Cause this, this isn't. Zinc or laterite. This is spalerite and laterite. Uh, they to make aluminum and zinc. I need a refiner, which, as the name suggests, it refines the materials. So convenient. The name suggests what it does. So yeah. So what I need to do is make that, which I'm not too sure what I need to. Uh, is it? Oh, it's right here. It's in the medium, so so we need to make a smelting furnace, which needs two compound. Oh shoot! And then now we just gotta make it smelting furnace. So we'll wait for that to finish. And actually, I'm gonna do something. Because the ground is a bit uneven, but yeah. If I turn this on and get some laterite, oh shoot, get some laterite, and if I put it on immediately, it should start making aluminum. So it can hold up to four at a time and makes one. So we need to wait for that to complete. While that's happening, uh, let's get ready to make a. Oh, yeah, I still need to research the. The tractor. Tractor. And uh, there we go. Tractor and trailer. Oh, and we got a medium storage again. So, pretty good. So we'll put that right there. And we'll get this aluminum. So how much do we need to make a tractor? Two aluminum. Alrighty guys, y'all are about to see me make a tractor. So hopefully in this episode I'll test it out and then I'll end it. Let me flatten out the area. There we go. Alright, we have a tractor now. 
Yeah, there we go. Although, again, like I said a, a little while ago, we need a battery. So, you know, we need to make that. So, let's make a... We'll make some batteries real quick. So... Oh shoot, no. Uh oh. I get that zinc over here. Alright, there we go. Uh, I, I think I can just make it out of my small. Uh, my small. Do I have to research it? Pull it up, wait a minute. Small battery, oh, 2000 bytes. Err, we might have a problem. Uh, we don't have any uh, bytes, it needs 2000 bytes. I only have 106 D, like two bytes. So, the obvious problem is that we have no. Um, we have no uh, things to re we don't have any enough bytes to research zinc or so we need to look for batteries uh, for y'all sake uh, just cuz I do want to make a tractor and make it work uh, I'm gonna go on an adventure to find batteries so I'll cut back in once I finish. See y'all later. Alrighty guys. After searching for a while, I was not able to find a battery. Sadly. So, you might not be able to actually see the tractor move. I wish you could. I did everything I could. Wait. Oh, we have enough. Y'all are very lucky, bro. Holy. Y'all really are lucky. That I... That that even gave me enough bites. Forget what I said. You are seeing the tractor move. Alright, all I had to do is plug it in. Hold on, let me plug it into the... Let me make another one. Alrighty. For the moment, y'all have been waiting for the entire freaking video. Y'all. The tractor is moving. Yes. Of course, last second. I get to actually, you guys get to actually see the tractor moving. I thought I had to end the video without y'all seeing it. But I'm glad that didn't have to happen. Y'all are actually able to see the tractor moving. Alright guys. But, this is the end of the video. So, for now, this, is, this video is ending. And if you made it to the end of the video, I am very grateful. If you actually did, I'm quite surprised. Uh, but apart from that, this video is ending. So, this is James signing out.